Place the saw in its vertical position. Use your foot to release the bottom legs. Release and open top legs. And then pull the saw up to its horizontal position. After raising the blade, remove the guard from its onboard storage. Pull out the riving knife blade guard release lever and install the guard into the guard slot. After installing the guard, remove the anti-kickback paws from underneath the saw in their storage area. Install the fence on the outer pin locators. In this position, the saw has 32 and a half inch rip cut capacity. Install the fence into the inner locator pins. Raise the material support, support to the second position. And now it can be used as a narrow ripping fence. To use the saw to make non-through cuts, you must first remove the guard. Use the riving knife blade guard release lever to release the guard. Return the guard to its onboard storage. Then remove the riving knife from its onboard storage. Use the riving knife blade guard release lever and install the riving knife behind the blade. When finished using the saw for the day and getting ready to return it to its storage position, remove the riving knife using the riving knife blade guard release lever. Install the riving knife back in its storage area underneath the saw. Flip the narrow rip fence over to its locking position. Remove the fence from the saw. And place it in its storage position on the saw. And then simply lower the blade and the saw is ready for storage. Designed to be portable and to withstand job site conditions, the saw can be packed up as easy as set up.